Becoming a Microsoft Cloud Engineer is one of the most exciting and rewarding career paths in tech today, especially as cloud adoption continues to grow across the various industries, but how do you get started, especially if you have no prior experience? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll walk you through a clear step-by-step -step roadmap to help you achieve this goal, whether you want to focus on Azure or the Microsoft 365 side or both, I'll break it down into manageable steps, including the certifications you need to succeed. So let's dive in. There are two primary paths to becoming a Microsoft Cloud Engineer. The first is the Azure path, which focuses on infrastructure, development, and security in Microsoft's cloud platform. The second is the Microsoft 365 path, which is all about managing productivity tools, device management, and enterprise collaboration. Both paths are valuable, and in an ideal world, you'd work towards mastering both over time, but it's perfectly fine to start with one based on your interest or your current opportunities. So let's kick things off and we're going to start by taking a look at the Azure path. First up is the AZ900 uh, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. Now this is a beginner friendly certification that introduces you to cloud concepts, Azure services, the pricing and security of it all. It's perfect for building your foundational knowledge and is often the first step into the cloud world. Once you've nailed the basics, the next step is the AZ-104, which is the Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. This is the exam where you really start working hands-on. It's going to cover topics like managing Azure resources, networking, virtual machines, and storage. The AZ-104 is your gateway to becoming a full-fledged Azure Administrator. Next we move to the AZ-305, which is the Designing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions. This certification builds on your experience and positions uh, you pretty much as you are becoming a Azure Solutions Architect. Here, you'll learn how to design scalable and secure cloud solutions, making you go to a, an expert level within your organization for leveraging and scaling the Azure resources. All right. Now, also, I'd like to mention that um, you know you can further your career even after that AZ three hundred five by jumping into the security side of things with Azure. There is an exam called the AZ five hundred, which is the Microsoft Azure Security Technologies certification. This certification ensures you're well versed in securing Azure environments, making it a fantastic addition for aspiring cloud engineers. And you can actually take that between the AZ-104 and the AZ-305, or you could take it after the AZ-305, either way, all right? So just to review the main Azure certification path from beginner to expert level, you start with the AZ-900, which is the foundational certification that's going to cover the basic concepts. You're then going to move into AZ-104, which is going to be the intermediate level certification that's going to focus on Azure administration. And then finally, the AZ-305, which is going to be the advanced certification for designing Azure solutions. Now, let's shift to the Microsoft 365 path. So we start with the MS-900, which is the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals. Like the AZ-900, this is an entry-level certification designed to help you understand Microsoft 365's core services, the pricing and security of it all. It's a great starting point if you're more interested in end-user tools and enterprise productivity. From there, you move to the MD-102, Endpoint Administrator. This certification dives into device management, modern desktop deployment, and Intune. If you're interested in managing Windows client devices and ensuring seamless user experience, this is going to be the certification for you. 
Next is the MS-102, which is the Microsoft 365 Administrator Expert. This is the capstone certification for this path, focusing on identity management, compliance, and enterprise-level Microsoft 365 deployments. It's a must-have if you want to make your skills go to this next level, which again is the expert level. All right. Now, there is another side to all this as well. There's uh, a certification you can get known as the MS-700, which is the Managing Microsoft Teams. It's, a, it's great, sort of like a great addition to add. Um, and you can get that, I would say, you could get that after taking the MD-102. Um, and then also, if you want to sort of specialize in security, Microsoft has a series of security exams that start with uh, SC, all the way from the SC-100, SC-200, SC-300, uh, and SC-400 exams. Although there's also an SC-900, which is the beginner. Um, if you want, you can check out my video on the security paths on this, and it'll kind of outline a strategy for that. So let's recap the plan. If you decide to go the Microsoft 365 path, essentially you're going to start with the foundation, which is going to be MS-900. That's going to be your beginner level certification. And then, of course, you're going to move on to intermediate, which is going to be the MD-102. Uh, that is going to get you into device management, administration, and all that fun stuff. And then lastly, you'll move on to the last level, which is going to be MS-102, which, of course, is going to be the expert level with Microsoft 365. And don't forget, you can take some side journeys there with MS-700 or maybe get the security certifications and all that. Really, the security certifications kind of uh, intermingle with both Azure and Microsoft 365. So, whether you choose the Azure route or the Microsoft 365 route or eventually both, this roadmap is designed to set you up for success. Start with the fundamentals, build your expertise with mid-level certifications, and aim for expert-level exams to round out your skills. Becoming a Microsoft Cloud Engineer takes dedication, but with the right plan and certifications, you'll be on your way to a rewarding and in-demand career. By the way, if you're looking for guided training, I've got you covered. I offer online training courses for all the certifications I mentioned in this video. These courses feature hours of detailed lessons, hands-on labs, and real-world simulations to help you pass your exams with confidence. And the best part, in many cases, you can get access to my training for as low as $9.99. Just visit uh, https colon slash slash examlabpractice.com slash courses for more details and exclusive discounts. Start your learning journey today. I really hope that I can help you achieve your success. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really hard to build up this uh, YouTube channel and provide as much uh, free learning resources as I can. Well, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you in the next one.